Hi, Andrew here. Continuing our series on defensive pistol ammunition gel testing, today we're going to take a look at 45 Auto Spears 230 grain gold dot short barrel load. We're going to fire it through a Springfield Armory XDS. All right, as always, we see good expansion in the bare gel. That's no surprise. Even crappy bullets can do that. Penetration, very consistent. First shot, 20.2 inches. Second shot, 19.8 inches. Expansion is fairly moderate. but it's uniform and consistent between the two projectiles. We'll get some measurements, some photographs when we get home, but a bare gel looks like it did fairly well, except for, of course, the, the deeper penetration. We'll see how it does with heavy clothing. Okay, so in bare gel, the expansion was excellent. The weight retention was absolutely, literally perfect, but the penetration was a bit excessive. Now, if you follow this series much, you know that I don't believe that over penetration is nearly as much of a problem as a lot of people make it out to be. That is, I don't know of any instance where a non-law enforcement private citizen fired a weapon in justified self-defense and the bullet passed through a bad guy and hurt another person. It happens to law enforcement officers from time to time because they have to shoot in crowded situations much more frequently. And much more often than passing through a bad guy, both law enforcement officers and private citizens have missed people and hit uninvolved parties. And that's where other people get hurt, not because your bullet passed through the bad guy and hit somebody else. However, it does exceed that 18 inch FBI maximum and therefore is technically a fail on that point. So at this point, I often say, well, there's no point in looking further at the heavy clothing, except the bullet did expand. And I do want to know whether or not it can still expand after passing through heavy clothing. So let's get back out to the range and fire this same load through the same pistol, but with four layers of denim in place. Okay, I am pleasantly surprised here. I really expected that this would not expand through the heavy clothing. Not that the gold dot isn't a great bullet. It is. It's one, one of the top of the list in um, recommended defense bullets. But 45 is already moving pretty slow. And a short barrel doesn't help at all. And velocity is really what one of the biggest factors in determining whether you get expansion with heavy clothing. So I'm impressed. The penetration, 16.8, 14.4. Both right in the neighborhood, right where you want the penetration figures to be. The expansion is a little bit less than we saw with the bare gel. It is a little moderate, but it's relatively, it's mostly uniform, and it's fairly consistent between the two. This one is just a little lopsided, but otherwise, this is very good performance. Now bear in mind, it's not great performance for a 9mm 124 grain out of a 4.5 inch barrel. Of course not. That's going to be much larger, more uniform, prettier, all, all the way around, better performance. 
this is very good performance for a short barrel 45. We'll get some, some more photographs and some measurements when we get home. Okay, so I don't think I've ever seen this happen. In fact, I was so surprised by these results that I actually had to stop while I was shooting this portion here and go double check the video from earlier to make sure that I didn't transpose the figures because I don't think I've ever, ever seen a bullet penetrate less after passing through heavy clothing. And in this case, yes, it did. It penetrated not just less, but it penetrated exactly what it's supposed to right there in that sweet spot of 14 to 16 inches where we really want to see defensive ammunition land. So oddly enough, <laughs> the heavy clothing actually improved performance in this particular case. Bear gel, kind of a fail, but it did expand. Heavy clothing, it again, likewise expanded, but also penetrated less and met the FBI recommended penetration requirements. So overall, it's not bad performance, really. I'd much rather see excessive penetration than not enough penetration. And in both cases, it expanded adequately and of course had 100% perfect weight retention. So ultimately, is this useful for defense? I would say absolutely. Of the two short barrel 45 auto tests we've done so far, this definitely outperforms the 200 grain Unicore. And generally speaking, I would say that this is suitable for defense. It, the bullet expands reliably, has high retained weight, and it does not fail to penetrate adequately. It did penetrate more deeply than necessary, but I'd rather see excessive penetration rather than not enough. So. All things considered, I'd call this a pass. If you disagree, if you have any questions, definitely leave a comment below. As always, like and share and subscribe. I know I harp on you after every single video about it, but it does matter. It does tell YouTube the sort of things that you like to see. And if you like watching gun videos, it's more important than ever to engage with the videos that you watch. Have a great day.